Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to use ESP32 with Code School using the ESP32 block firmware. So first, you need to sign in to your account. Once you sign in to your account, you you will see a board menu. In the board menu, you can install the software. So you have to select the ESP32 blocks and make sure your ESP32 is connected to your computer USB and like you had already installed all the USB drivers now I can select like install software on device then I can select the correct COM port and say connect it will show me a menu similar to this so I'll select install ESP32 blocks then I'll select erase device click next and before I click install I'll press the boot button and as soon as I click the install I'll release the boot button you have to try it few times like I'll press it again Now as soon as I click install, I'll release the boot button. Now you see it has started erasing the previous firmware and it will install the new firmware. So it will take some time. Make sure you do not change the browser tab or any application. Now I will click next and I will enter my Wi-Fi details. So sometimes you have to give it two times. So this may be a issue. But most of the time like second time so it works now you can select visit device and you can sign in to your account so this device is connected to the server you can close this now you go into board and say connect board and it will show you connected to the device So basically this is the ESP32 and like this is the boot button which you need to press while clicking the erase button and like as soon as you click the erase button and install new firmware you have to release this boot button uh, just after one second of like release clicking the erase button and this is the pin 34 where we will connect a ADC sensor LDR and there is a default LED also which is connected to pin 2 so now we have to load the Arduino extension Then we can program our board. I 
I'll change the pin to 2. So this is my program like when I click the green flag it changed the GPIO2 as output and then it will like blink the GPIO2 con connected LED 10 times. So I'll just run this program. So as you can see the LED is blinking. And the program has finished blinking the LED 10 times. So I'll just make another program like I'll choose few backdrops. So I have connected a LDR ADC sensor to GPIO 34 and like I am reading that GPIO 34 value into a variable and I am comparing the variable value with a predefined constant and if it is less than that I will like have a day backdrop and if it is like greater than that I will have a night backdrop. So because I have connected the LDR sensor so I will reconnect my board. So my board has been reconnected. Now I just run the program. So as you see like when I bring my finger in front of the LDR sensor. The theme changes to night and when I remove my finger from the LDR sensor and it is detecting daylight it has changed the theme to day so as you see like how easy it is to control analog sensors analog readings or like ESP32 embedded programming with code school. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.